Welcome to Bay Hill Studio. Today I am in the process of free motion quilting this fun panel quilt. Uh, the, the fabric collection is designed by Sandy Gervais for Riley Blake Designs and it's called Red, White and & Bang. And I wanted to stop myself and just go over how I'm quilting this because I know I'm going to get a ton of questions and this is so easy. Um, this is great for beginners, honestly. There's no um, exact pattern to this and it's it's really an easy way to um, start in the free motion quilting. So to do this, I don't know if you can see, but I'm I'm echoing this flower petal. And I've done this on several quilts before where there aren't, there isn't a flower petal to echo and you can still do it. So I just pick a point in the quilt, usually a little bit off center. Um, you can start smack in the center of your quilt. You can start off center and you can actually start this design, you know, at one corner of the quilt and then start it again at the other corner of the quilt and the design kind of meets however you want to do it. I decided to start off center at this flower and I start with a circle and if you don't have a flower that you're using you still start with a circle and then I just go around and make these elongated U shapes um, and I'm following the petal and then I'm literally just echoing all around so then I keep going around and around and around and when I make that round then I am um, like right here you can see I'm taking that stitch up here and then starting around again. And um, this is the, I've never done my petals this large and it works out great. Usually I do them small, probably one and a half inches or so and keep them really small and tight. And it just ends up looking like beautiful scallops all over the quilt. Um, for this one, I'm, I'm keeping them actually quite large and it still has just a lovely um, texture to it and a lovely design. And so I'm just going to keep going for a few minutes um, showing you how I do this. Right now I have reached the end of a whole ring of petals. So I'm going to start on another outer ring and I'm going to show you how I do this. And then um, after I finish, I'll post pictures of the finished quilt and I will have all the information in my blog post with a link in the description below so you can see um, more about this quilt. But I just want you to see how I am doing the free motion exactly. So again, you'll start with a little circle at any point in the quilt and then just do petals around and then just keep going around and around. And you can start in multiple locations and let them meet up. I've done that before. Um, either way is great. I don't think I'll do that this time. I think I'll just do one continuous round, um, but I might not. I might change my mind. So let's get started. I'm just gonna make a couple rounds so that you can see um, how this is done. Wow, so when I finished quilting that quilt top, I realized it was, the video was way too shaky. So you wouldn't be able to possibly see what I was doing. So I'm gonna demonstrate just real quickly on this little scrap piece of fabric. And this fabric is also designed by Sandy Gervais for Riley Blake Design, and it is a texture basics. Um, I can't remember exactly, I think this is the denim color. So I'm gonna start off in the center and make a small circle. And then I'm just going to snip off that thread. So I've made my small circle. And now um, for this version, I'm gonna do smaller petals and just go around this circle. All right, so there's my little circle. You can see the petals aren't perfect. They don't have to be. And now I am going to continue up and around.
All right, so let's pause and take a look at where we're at. So you can see this just keeps growing and growing and it will it can just expand throughout your whole quilt or you could make a bunch of smaller versions so you could make this maybe like a 12 inch blossom and then create another one all over your quilt um, honestly the, the the options are endless you as you know on the quilt that i was um, doing with with this fabric my petals were large they were probably three inches long and I just expanded those over the whole quilt. These are small. These give you a really tighter texture and a more clamshell look. And um, honestly, it's really cool if you have a dark fabric on the back because and you're using light thread because you get this design on the back that you don't necessarily see on the front. If your front is using busy fabrics, you might not clearly see what the design is. And on the back, it's like you get two quilts in one. You get this gorgeous design to look at if you flip the quilt over. So that's it. That is all there is to it. Start with your circle and then just work your way out as far as you want. And if you want to make other blossoms all over, you can do that. They can meet up. Um, you know, the little scalps can meet up or you can keep them separate. It would be fun to see what everyone comes up with. All right, that's all there is to it. Now let's return to our quilt top. Okay, so you can see I just made one round um, circle around in petals. And if you noticed at one point down here, I reached the edge of my quilt. And so next time I go around, I will make petals up to this point, And then instead of continuing around, I will just backtrack the other way and just keep going back and forth um, because I no longer need to be quilting down in this area. And so that's all that it is. This is so easy. And again, you can make these petals as large or as small as you want. I typically make them much smaller and it does take a lot longer um, to do it that way. But I wanted more of a, a oversized kind of retro vibe to go with this quilt. I think it has a, a fun um, retro vibe, especially with the patchwork that I added. I'm just loving the whole look of it. And so I wanted to keep these oversized and just continue with this theme that's already on the panel and I'm loving it. So that's it to make these petals and they end up honestly, when you do them, especially when you do them really tiny, they end up looking like little, just a little clamshell design all over and it's just so intriguing to look at and so fun so i will share pictures of the finished quilt and you'll be able to see um, how it looks when it all comes together and i think you'll love it and if you're um, interested in starting some free motion quilting this could be a great place to start just start on a scrap piece and play around with it and you'll see how easy it is and um, then you can just move on to a bigger quilt and have fun with it all right, if you like this content, please like and subscribe and have a great day.